Actually, I've got a statement first, uh, two that I'm going to make before we start. Uh, first one has to do with uh, uh, Jason Dialba. We've, as you know, we've suspended Jason for the coming game against Eastern Washington. Um, you know, when I do not see a play in person in the game, which I did not see this play uh, against Drake, then I have to look at the tape, which I did on Sunday. And what I saw was a helmet-to-helmet -helmet contact that's uh, punishable by a one-game suspension by our team policy. It's also uh, punishable by a one-game suspension by the Big Sky Conference. The Big Sky Conference reviewed the play on Monday morning, also decided to levy a one-game suspension against Jason D'Alba. Those two suspensions will be concurrent, so he'll miss one game against Eastern Washington, and then both suspensions will be served. Um, we had a very in-depth educational program this preseason with our players about helmet-to-helmet contact. It's a vicious part of the game that has to be eliminated from our game. Uh, we showed a videotape to the football team uh, with the helmet-to-helmet -helmet contact and, and uh, educated them about that. They all know that it's, a, that it's a play that has to be eliminated from the game and they know the consequences are going to be severe if it happens. So having said that, our guys know the situation and uh, Jason, uh, what I want to clarify about Jason's actions were that he was not under any circumstances trying to intentionally injure anyone. He was playing hard, he made a mistake, a dumb reaction and uh, was late on the play. He, he hit the man in, a, in an unfortunate position, helmet to helmet, and uh, that's why he's suspended. So that's the situation and the chronology of that event.